Back when I used to conduct machine learning system design interviews at Big Tech, about 70% of the people failed them. No wonder, this is a hard interview to prepare for. So people look for all sorts of resources. In this video, I will cover every single book out there that you could possibly want to buy and give you my honest opinion as an industry veteran. Why am I reading this piece of shit? Okay, we have to start with this. I try to be balanced, but this is complete and utter AI slop. The book isn't even a book, it's an outline. This reads like it's been generated with ChatGPT and not the current version. This outline provides absolutely no value for your machine learning system design. Just go to ChatGPT and say, hey, tell me everything you know about machine learning system design round. You'd get about as good a preparation as this book. This book is so bad that I would like it to be a meme on the channel. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling particularly funny after reading AI slop. If you have some ideas of what I can do, please put them in the comments. Also, while you're here, why not like and subscribe, right? Don't waste your money. It probably comes as no surprise that I really like this book. I've recommended it in previous videos and I will continue to recommend this. Machine Learning System Design Interview by Alex Drew and Ali Aminian. This book has a lot of strength. It starts out with a basic outline of what an interview should be. To the longtime viewers of this channel, Thank you. But also you know that my strategy is different from the strategy outlined in this book. I think the seven step system they mention here is not a bad place to start, but there are much better strategies for this interview. It's far more important that you have the strategy than exactly what it is. And if the one suggested in this book works for you, go with it. But I would still recommend checking out what I have to say about it. After giving you that fundamental framework of how to think about the interview, the book goes through about 10 problems, many of which still appear in ML system design interview rounds. This is a good case study. However, Alex and Ali go a little bit deeper into these problems than you need to in your interview. If you try to do it the way that they recommend in the book, you're probably going to run out of time. So understand that this is a starting point. This is not a bunch of things to memorize and then regurgitate in, in the interview. But then again, none of these are. Also watch out because they do like graph neural nets a little bit more than an average bear. And so they are recommended in a few places where I wouldn't necessarily use them. Overall, this is a terrific book for more senior people and people applying to thing level ML jobs. Peng Xiao's Inside the Machine Learning Interview. Now this book comes with 151 questions, which tells you that being super thorough is definitely not a problem. I actually really like this book, but for a different reason. Unlike Alex and Ali's book, which focuses entirely on the ML system design round, this book tries to be a comprehensive resource for all machine learning interview rounds that you could be facing. Well, it tries. Unfortunately, I think it speaks like it's more comprehensive than it really is. It completely ignores the behavioral round other than a couple of paragraphs that don't really give you much information. Even what it says about ML coding is slightly incorrect. For example, it's missing a whole type of interview where you're given an ML code base and asked to find the one bug inside it. This book does not cover that at all. So this is a great overall overview of various rounds with a whole bunch of questions being peppered at you. Whereas Alex and Ali's book goes into a little bit too much detail. This book goes into a little too little. However, if you have a lot of interview rounds at startups, this is the book that I would start with. Understanding what the questions are, and this book does a really good job at that, can really set you ahead. Also, if you're applying for more junior positions at fame companies, this is a pretty good resource to get started. Curiously, this book has its own methodology for how to go through the ML system design round. And that methodology is exactly the one that I teach. Now, I don't think there is any intellectual property theft on the system that I've been teaching since 2020, but I do think that great minds think alike. And it's very validating to see that Ping's thinking is very much in line with my own as to which things you're supposed to cover and in what order. Those are basically all the ML system design interview books that are available today. But I reviewed two more books and I think you should take a look at them. See, the books we discussed focus very heavily on these are the shortcuts you need in order to prepare for your interview quickly. However, what if you are more senior, like senior staff engineer, or just understand that after the interview, you're still going to have a job to do? Well, in that case, I cannot recommend highly enough the seminal work in the field, Designing Machine Learning System by Chip Wen. 
Chip is an amazing author and does a really good job of outlining what it takes to design a real world machine learning system. Side by side, her book is a little thicker than Alex and Ali's. But guess what? There are no practice problems here. Instead, this book is devoted to really explain the technical nuances that go into ML system. This is way too much information for somebody applying for a senior role at a startup. But if you're truly building machine learning systems from scratch, this is a terrific book to understand for its technical depth. This book does have a slight drawback to it. You see, it was published in 2022, before we truly had the AI revolution we have today. Chip has since published another book about designing AI systems specifically, but I do not love that separation. Instead, I think that one should think about ML systems completely, including the transformer architecture. I do not think transformer architecture is AI. In today's world, when you answer interview questions, you do need to understand how LLMs and other generative tools can help you. For example, Chip talks about uh, human labeling. And today, any human labeling loop would probably have some Gen AI to help unload some of the stuff off of the humans. Sadly, I cannot hold this next book in my hands. Machine Learning System Design by Valery Babushkin and Arseniy Krachenko. This book comes out in February of 2025, and it is a real gem. You see, where Chip's book is terrific at explaining how a senior engineer would design machine learning system end-to-end, -end, this book instead tells you how a principal engineer would do it. Lots of insights here have a lot more to do with the way things actually work in tech first companies than with any pretend scenario like an interview. It is a must read for anybody at staff and higher levels, and probably most seniors who want to be at staff level at some point. The book argues for a design doc and goes through how to build that. Understanding that design doc is the same as understanding what you need to have in your interview. The strategy is very different from what I preach for the interview itself, but nevertheless, it would work really well at those higher levels. In addition to helping you pass the interview though, this book is something that I can see myself referring to again and again in designing the systems. I do not think this is a great book for people just starting their careers, although the authors do a really, really good job of defining terms and making sure that you're not lost. I just don't think you'll have a chance to implement those things quickly enough for them to resonate. And you know, I always argue that you should be able to apply whatever knowledge you get right away. However, if you're building your own machine learning system or you're working somewhere at a senior enough role to where you get to design those, I cannot recommend this book highly enough. I know it comes out in February, but put in your pre-order. And in order to ace your machine learning system design interview, not only do you have to have that knowledge, but you also have to know how to communicate it quickly. And for that, watch this next video.